Hi there guys, uh, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It will work to all the members of Fraccom who are celebrating. Uh, today I'm going to do some special reviews uh, and it's going to be weird because uh, I'm going to do all female fragrances. Um, these are all my cousin's bottle. I borrowed, I'm supposed to return soon. And I thought like, you know, let's just do them at one shot. I'll do four videos. Uh, uh, I think in four episodes, I'm going to do uh, five fragrances. So I would like to start with House of Guerlain. And I know I look a little bit different. I just want to have that clean look back again for a while. I'm just getting the warm weather, the heat, you know, it's just like, you know, the beer and everything kills. Anyway, so the fragrance we're going to review today is a very awesome fragrance. I think this is the older formulation. It's called Guerlain, Longstand Guerlain. Okay. And this is for women. And this name is very familiar to many of you male. If you know this one, Liege, Longstand Guerlain Extreme. This is the very vintage batch and there's also Lance Tender Guerlain for men. This is a new formulation, new bottles. So uh, this one I have plenty to say about it. Also, they used to have like a second generation of Lance Tender Guerlain. Those bottles are also gone. This shape of bottle basically for men are gone. If you find one of these without the dark ridges, also buy them. So today we'll look at the women's one and this one, it's hard to find. Okay, so this is the packaging. I think this one is a peach colored at the border at the uh, here it got the locket kind of us uh, I don't know logo or whatever and then the name here and this is EDT ATML okay back looks like that it's a nice little like nice little uh, box and here is the beautiful bottle I think the bottle juice color change over the years it's supposed to be a bit different and even the juice I think a little bit reduced over the years evaporated a little bit I think so uh, here's the cap it's a very beautiful presentation gear lance even the plastic caps looks nice uh, look nice okay and I think it's uh, catching some of the fingerprint. Yeah, look at that juice color. That is beautiful. That's just amazing. This one's I have like this few other perfumes that have the similar kind of juice color, but not as much. The Hot Couture, you know, or some of the other perfumes, they have very dark juice color. Even like my Karl Lagerfeld, you know, but not as dark, right? So you can tell just a comparison, very dark juice color, beautiful. It looks like tobacco, kind of like a boozy, you know, and it's a little bit like a roundish. Uh, compared to the men's one okay they look a bit masculine in the men's one so i have pre-sprayed on paper and this perfume i just love you know it's just a very stunning beauty uh, make sure one thing when you spray this this paper actually caught some of the i don't think the camera will pick up this one picked up a little bit of orange color of the juice so if you have white uh, dress or something do not uh, spray on white clothes or something that is light so it will leave like a mark okay for sure so spray on your skin perhaps or darker clothes would be nice even in hair so let me do one fresh spray. Okay, good sprayer on these. Clicks mildly onto place, but they move around. So not really nice, but the bottle is beautiful. So longevity of this perfume, you see a little bit significant amount is missing in the triangle. I think over the years, a little bit of the juice evaporated or something, or maybe someone used, I don't know. So this perfume is just stunner. Okay, I'll tell you one thing, this girl and I have two girl ones today, okay? One is a unisex perfume in my humble opinion. This is for women. But if you are into fragrance like Chanel Number no. 5, something classy or uh, Coco Mademoiselle, if you know those beautiful vintage style, uh, I think there's also honey, there's also vanilla, floral, pea, like fruits. You know, it, it has a lot of notes, beautiful notes, but it's kind of like a waxy candle kind of smell, warm, romantic, sweet, even maybe have cinnamon. I'm not sure. I did not look at the notes breakdown, but it smells like very uh, luxurious, something in the line of a uh, lot of these perfumes when it came out Chanel number no. five especially comes to mind a lot and there are other perfumes from house of Guerlain like Shalima those time this is another fragrance in that prestige okay if you ever want to give your wife a romantic fragrance that is powdery warm sweet sexy a little bit spicy this is the perfume to go I think there's also Udi maybe a little bit of a uh, gourmand but mostly I get a vanilla warm vanilla and kind of like uh, <clears throat> you know that perfume um Spiritus de Bouveni also, like there are many fragrances in the house, they have the similar sort of a structure. But there's a fragrance I don't remember at this current moment. I used to have it. I think it was uh, Serge Luton's Shergi, you know. Yeah, Shergi and this shares a lot of similarities. So I don't know if you're going to find it anywhere, but now you know the style of perfume. Very long lasting, extremely potent fragrance. Do not over apply, you know, do not go like crazy. Um, like with the application, you just literally need two sprays from far. This much distance, it will cover huge area, like say on your neck or your hair or exposure on the skin on the side of your neck or arm like here. This will be sufficient. Beautiful, romantic setup, a kind of a cool weather. This will really do well, right? So overall, this perfume is a masterpiece. Okay, so I just want to leave the review out there. Thanks to my cousin for letting me borrow her perfume and it has a lot of heavy florals. So this 
actually is women's perfume but many men like to wear vintage perfumes like Chanel number no. 5. There is no gender uh, specific for a fragrance, so is this. So Langston de Galan <coughs> for women, this is the EDT concentration and there is another one I forgot elixir or something dark bottle if I ever find it which is unlikely, I will review it. This perfume is a 10 out of 10, mark my words, okay. Beautiful perfume but if you see it somewhere, try to have a tester and then spray it you know maybe it will be different than my taste but i love this perfume so thank you so much for watching time for second review take care